Here we go again with the hip boots, this time heading into an abandoned hulk on Cadillac Boulevard. You can smell the chlorine. We navigate through a pool in the basement toward the front of the building. There, fresh drinking water is gushing out of a big pipe and going down the drain. A neighbor says it's been flowing for months. We found the same thing at this house on Mark Street and this one on Hartwell. At this big commercial building, the basement was full of water and bubbling out of the foundation. When Action News pressed the city last week, they acknowledged they have a huge problem. They've shut off water in 12,000 leaking vacant houses in the last three years, and those are just the ones they knew about. It's a huge problem, and we all pay for it with higher water bills. So why in the world did they turn down money to help find leaks like this? Free money, $300,000 from the state for a pilot project. The plan was to bring in a world-renowned company called Mia from Israel that has new technology to find leaks in municipal water systems. This is a video clip from their website. Our cities are actually losing an equivalent of 36,000 Olympic pools of clean, treated drinking water daily. The plan was to have Mia team up with a local company, Weston Engineering, to find out where the leaks are in Detroit so they can be fixed. But Detroit never used the money, so it was offered to Grand Rapids. And uh, Grand Rapids uh, accepted it with open arms, so that project is now underway in Grand Rapids. John McCullough is director of water resources for Oakland County. Grants like this don't come along every day, and why Detroit didn't take advantage of it is somewhat of a large question that uh, is yet to be answered. We'll put that question to the top guy at the water department in a minute, and his answers don't quite wash with records that we've uncovered. Right now, back to those gushers springing up everywhere. How much clean drinking water is really spewing out in the city of Detroit? Daryl Latimer is deputy director of the city water department. That number we have for unaccounted for water is at 23%. But information buried in this consultant's report paints a much worse picture. This thing never saw the light of day. Reports like this are supposed to be made public. For some reason, this one was never published. The investigators obtained it from a source. And I've learned this report was used by Mia, the Israeli company, to come up with a leakage rate for Detroit. Are you ready for this? Their figure is almost 31%. If true, that means nearly a third of the clean drinking water Detroit produces disappears. Much of it goes down the sewer where you pay to have it treated again. It's far outside the realm of, of reason in terms of what a major system should be experiencing. Is it almost like a third world country? It is. Uh, that historically is what you do see in third world countries is a, a loss of 30 to 40 percent. That 31 percent leakage rate came from figures compiled long before the real estate crash and the mass abandonment of homes, many of which are leaking water. So the leakage rate today could be even worse. And that brings us back to the Israeli contract. With such a horrible leakage rate around three times the national average, why did Detroit turn down that free money to locate leaks? The director at that time didn't want to pursue that contract because it would have called for the department to, exp to expend an additional $700,000. But that doesn't jibe with records obtained by the investigators. This is a copy of the contract for the leak detection program. The director at the time, Pamela Turner, actually signed it in September of 2009. This letter canceling the project was sent out almost a year later after Pam Turner had retired and Daryl Latimer signed the paperwork canceling the deal. As for the $700,000 Latimer said the city would have to spend on the Israeli deal? There may have been some minor cost in terms of adding additional access pits to the water system, but I can't see why they would spend $700,000. And five weeks after the Israeli company got the boot, the city consultant that produced this never published report got an extension on its own contract for $1.6 million. Daryl Latimer gives one more reason for canceling the Israeli project. He says they tried their technology and it didn't work. When we piloted it, we didn't see a difference. We piloted it on two or three of our difficult leaks and they were unsuccessful. The Water Department can't provide documentation that the Israeli program was tried and failed. They say no official tasks were assigned to the company, but they did some preliminary work that proved no more effective than their current leak detection contractor. They say they weren't aware of the Israeli firm's 31% leakage rate estimate. They say the report was never published because the city disagreed with some of its assumptions and later amended it. Scott Lewis, Channel 7 Action News.